I love that some automakers are still committed to the sedan. I particularly like that Mercedes-Benz is one of those automakers. Now, while this is the fourth generation A-Class, it is the first time that it lands on U.S. soil, and it is a good thing. The turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder engine powers the A220, and man, for a little engine, it feels like quite the powerhouse. If there is turbo lag, then it's of little consequence, and that is thanks in part to the dual-clutch 7-speed automatic transmission, which keeps the engine in the meatiest part of the power band. Acceleration is quick, so you can get in and out of situations that are sort of tricky or, hey, even if you just want to go fast, it feels effortless. For the ride quality, it's decidedly Mercedes-esque. That means simultaneously sporty and smooth. There's nothing here that's going to harsh your drive. The A220 comes with a multi-link rear and front suspension that rides right. This tester I'm driving has the 4MATIC all-wheel drive with 19-inch wheels and the lowered comfort suspension. All of those elements equal a controlled driving experience that's still fun and plenty assertive. Turns in the A220 are confident, both in the grip department and in the steering. I love the weight of this steering. It feels natural, which for me helps make turns really precise. Now, there are four different drive modes, eco, comfort, sport, and individual, but for my money, I'm going to keep it in sport. Mercedes does a great job with the interior. It's got some great standard features like the panoramic sunroof, power front seats, heated power side mirrors, and dual zone climate control. Incidentally, the A-Class is where the MBUX interface first showed up in the US, and it's now making its way through the entire lineup. My complaints with the system are few. There's only one, and that is when you activate this by voice, all you have to do is say, hey Mercedes, Hey Mercedes! How can I help you? There she goes. The only problem is, is if you say the word Mercedes oh, over and over again, she'll keep asking you what you want. No. I was in here with my parents. Please they, repeat. They kept saying the word Mercedes and she kept waking up. Now it's really cool because you can say, I'm cold. What do you want to do? Turn on the heat. I'm setting the temperature to 63 degrees. Okay, so you get it, it's good. It also speaks to you in different languages. Not that I know, I can barely speak English apparently, but you'll just have to trust me on this. Tech features prominently in the A-Class. Optional wireless charging, over-the-air software updates, and USB-C ports, which, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the right cord for, so, uh. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are included, though, like I said, I don't have the right cord, so you'll have to trust me on this one as well. Lots of trust happening right now. I can feel it. As for the rest of the interior, it is quite beautiful in here. Yes, there is plastic, but you have ambient lighting and illuminated vents and amazing stitching on upgraded AMG seats. So who's noticing? Incidentally, these seats are as comfortable as they are supportive. Although I will say, my dad, six foot three, sat in this yesterday. Mm, it's a little bit small for him, but he's more of a, let's call him an E or S class sized guy. Now, as for the back, if someone sits behind me, there's pretty decent room, both for the legs and the head. If you try and start squeezing somebody in this third seat, I'm not sure you're going to be making many friends, but for the most part, if you're driving or riding, you're going to be pretty luxuriously comfortable. Standard safety features include a radar-based active braking assist as well as an attention assist that monitors driver's behaviors and will even suggest that you stop to take a break if it thinks you need coffee. Tim always needs a coffee. It's also got cross wind assist, which will adjust the car's stability if you're in significant wind gusts at highway speeds. Cool. 
Additional safety features include blind spot warnings, active parking assist, steering assist for when you're in cruise control, as well as evasive steering assist, lane keeping assist, and active lane change assist that yes, helps you change lanes. I just said assist like a million times. That's how much assist there is in here. It's world class. If there is one critique to be had, then perhaps it's with the exterior design language. Objectively, this is a handsome car, but for some, it may lack a little specialness, like the CLA, what a handsome profile that is. However, this one has room in the back, so point to the A-Class for a little bit of substance over style. You can snazz things up a bit with the AMG line package which gets you AMG body styling like flared side sills, a sculpted front air dam, and twin trapezoidal chrome tailpipes. It's also got AMG floor mats and grippy pedals, but no, you're not getting any more juice under the hood. Appearance only. If you want the A35, which does have an AMG tuned engine that makes 302 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, as well as other dynamic goodies like performance brakes, suspension and handling control system, then you'll have to wait until the spring of 2020. And trust me, I am very excited about the spring of 2020. The premium package gets you the absolutely killer 10 and a quarter inch digital display with a 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen instead of the standard seven inch screens, as well as hands-free entry. This would be called the no brainer package in my opinion, worth every penny. The driver assist package includes all those safety features I mentioned earlier, so you'll probably want those too. So here's my point. Base price on the non-formatic all-wheel drive version starts around $33,500 with a destination charge. But if you're gonna buy a Mercedes, it's likely that you want to and can afford some of those extras. Now this particular one that I'm driving here has all those aforementioned packages as well as that all-wheel drive which will set you back $2,000. In addition, this has wood trim, the head-up display, this gray metallic paint, and all of those even more money. Bottom line, this one will cost you closer to $52,000. That's quite a jump. Some other luxury shorties competing for your fancy bucks are the BMW 2 Series, the Audi A3, the Acura ILX, and let's even throw the Mercedes-Benz CLA in there for kicks. Even though they call it a coupe, but it's got four doors, it's weird. Gas numbers, yes, those are here. Enjoy. I, for one, am really happy that Mercedes has it turned their back on the sedan. In fact, they've doubled down. With innovative tech and their world-class Mercedes driving pedigree, I'd say the A-Class is a great bet.